Las Vegas is famous for its neon lights, casinos, high-end hotels, the Bellagio fountains, world-class entertainment and its array of different cuisines. In addition to Michelin star fine dining, the Las Vegas Strip is home to six McDonald's. This is my experience of trying McDonald's in Las Vegas. Out of the um, six options of McDonald's, I decided to go for the one that was probably the most central. Uh, this one was on the Boulevard, quite close to the Miracle Mile shopping complex. So uh, yeah, pretty central, obviously there's loads of options within the actual the Miracle Mile shops. This is not within that, this is just slightly further down. First thing I would say is, yeah, not the most inviting um, design. You know, some McDonald's establishments are quite modern, uh, and they're quite alluring, they're quite spacious. This one, I guess, as you perhaps can expect, is a bit more compact, um, very busy in there. Uh, one of my gripes with it was the waiting time was around 20 minutes, which is kind of at odds with the phrase fast food. Looking at the options, as you'd expect, there was all the classics on there, your Big Mac meals, um, chicken McNuggets, etc, etc. I was hoping, since it was Las Vegas, they might put um, some more bespoke items on there to reflect the fact it is Las Vegas, your glamour and glitz, something maybe over the top, but it wasn't to be. So scrolling through the options, I did see a few um, chicken options. And I decided to try buying one premium chicken item against one budget chicken item just to see if you can really tell the difference in quality, quantity, ingredients and taste etc. The budget one certainly had a kick, it was a spicy chicken burger, uh, the chicken patty was very flat and there was only a sliver of meat inside the crispy coating so the ratio there wasn't that favorable, which I guess you can expect since it is a budget burger. Um, the heat in terms of the spices was quite intense. Um, not great, um, but then you move on to the premium one, and I'm glad to say the meat filling was a lot more substantial. Um, the sauce was a lot more subtle as well, so it didn't detract from the flavor of the chicken, which is what you want. Um, so in my opinion, it's worth paying a bit extra to go for the more upgraded an expensive option. In terms of beverages, it was pretty much standard fare unfortunately. The closest thing I could find to being a little bit different was uh, a beverage called the Frozen Hawaiian. Now a bit of information I was told during my trip to Las Vegas was that Las Vegas is the city with the highest number of Hawaiians outside of Hawaii. So maybe this drink is a nod to that fact. Very very um, vibrant colour there, I'm not too sure whether that's a natural colour or whether there's any artificial flavourings in there. It was refreshing and Las Vegas as you all know is a desert city so it does get very very warm so a nice ice cold drink is very welcome. Um, it was difficult to pinpoint what the ingredients were, it certainly did taste fruity um, and certainly quite artificial um, but like I said it was a hot day so it's still very welcome and I completed, finished the entire drink. In terms of what else I ordered, I tried to find something a little bit different. Um, I did notice that the pie options, apart from the standard apple pie, which is an absolute classic, they did offer a strawberry and cream pie. And I remember when I was visiting Georgia, I had something similar, it was certainly a berry and cream pie. I couldn't remember if it was strawberry, it might have been raspberry and uh, cream. So I thought I'd give this a go and you'll notice they're also doing a discount if you buy two. So it works out cheaper than buying one if you work it out the cost per pie. Unfortunately though, in spite of waiting for 20 minutes, they managed to get the order wrong. So I was actually given apple pies rather than the strawberry pies. When I took them back to the counter, they said, it's, it's basically gonna to take too long. They're gonna to have to put the correct pies. It could take another 20 minutes. So in the end, I just waved the white flag and gave up and I was unfortunate. I didn't get to try a pie on this occasion. So on balance, it's probably a little bit disappointing out of the McDonald's I've been to. Um, there wasn't too much well factor in terms of the menu options. The service was slow. Despite it being slow, they got the order wrong as well. Uh, they weren't particularly apologetic either. So 
it's not the best McDonald's experience that I've had unfortunately. The one thing I would cling to was the premium chicken burger, that was nice. There was a decent amount of meat in there, um, it was well cooked, the sauce um, was flavoursome, quite subtle, not over the top. So that was the uh, glimmer of hope on an otherwise slightly disappointing experience.